change the pressure uh, on a Pentair IntelliDrive. Right now it's set for PSI, 60 PSI constant. Uh, what is it right now? It's at 58, so I guess it fluctuates like maybe a couple of percent. So what you have to do is empty this out. And this has to be 70 percent. I said it's 70 percent of the final number that you want that. So, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn the power off first. I'm going to turn the power off here. I'm going to turn the power off for the breaker also. All right, good. That was the power there. I'm going to turn the power to the pump off. Well pump off. Okay. Step one completed. Step two, I'm going to drain this town. Where you do that, take a hose like so. Much easier if you happen to have a uh, Take this, leave this end out here. Make sure nothing runs in here, no animals. Take the other end and connect it to, let's make sure this is straightened first. Here, let's do this. Let's make sure this is nice and straight, untangled. Get all the water out of there. Yeah. All right. Should be no water left in there. Gonna leave this over here. And then we're gonna drain down that tank without making too much of a mess. So let's see. Leave that end outside. Hopefully this is gonna reach. I'll close the door on it. Much easier with two people, this part. All right, maybe the door can kind of hang on to it. Take the other end. We just had this thing installed yesterday. So I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of crap. They disturbed, they had to disturb the well to install it. So I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of crap in our pressure tank right now which is, come on, I'm trying to untangle this. I bought this expensive hose thinking it was gonna be great. Look at this piece of shit. All right, of course isn't gonna work. Missed it by that much. Who said that? All right, so let's put this wow, loose, come on. Come on. It's a bad angle. If I ever have to do this again, I'm gonna move that a little bit. Like it's sticking out a little bit. Okay. All right, let's make sure the other end is outside. Still. Okay. They're perfect. All right, open that and we'll drain it down. Also gonna open a faucet upstairs. So let's do this. Let's do this, I'm gonna actually shut this then we can't have water coming from upstairs, all right? I just wanna drain the tank. So let's open that up. Oh, good job. Good job, I did sealing this. That's a little better. All right. So we'll take a look outside. All right, there it goes.
Let the strain down. Tighten this a little more. We're at about 40 PSI now. What I'm also trying to do is to get any kind of crud that's in here out. Hopefully it'll come out of the hose. There we go. All right. So now the tank is completely empty. All right. So what we're going to do is close this up. I wonder why that pressure back. Let's try that again. Oh, I'll tell you why, because we got a check valve now. All right, so now the tank is empty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the pressure inside the tank to 70% of what I wanna set this at. This is now gonna be 65 PSI. So 70% is 49. All right, so we're gonna take this off. We're gonna use our air gauge and set it to 49 PSI. Of course, if it's not tangled, all right. I would love to be able to put this down, but I can't. So I'll hold this crappy thing in my hand. See if I can spin this around and take a look. Ugh. All right. Let's see what we got. 39. Okay. What did I say it's supposed to be? 70% of... 65. So 65, 55, 45. It should be 42. Uh, 45, 40, 46. Okay? So we're going to fill it up to 46. 40. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-three. Almost forty-four. 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 All right. Forty. Forty-five point five. Forty-five point seven. Forty-five point eight. Forty-six. All right. I'm just gonna test this again. All right. Good enough for this neighborhood. Forty-six. Okay, so that's at 46 PSI. Now, we're gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna set that, open this valve. Water pump. pump. This is going to boot up. And then we'll set that to 65. See? 46. Okay. Now it's going to fill up.
what I'll do now is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it. I'll show you how we do this. We're gonna go to, you have to go to password first. If it's set up from your, from your person, it's the default is seven, scroll to the left, seven, scroll to the left, seven, scroll to the left, seven, then enter. Okay, now we're gonna go to settings, main menu, settings, okay, uh, enter, time date, 12 hours, 12 hours, 12 hours. All right, let's go back, hold on. Time date. Yeah, let's go down to the next thing. PNC control, sleep, password, set points. There we go, enter. 61, now we're gonna go up. Oh, that's not it. We need, we don't want an external set point. Our internal set point, enter, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, enter. All right, now it's set for 65 PSI. And that's it. Back. Back. Auto start. That's it. So now it should set itself to 65 PSI. And that's it. When it's close enough, it stays like that. But it's set for 64 right now. All right, if you look at this, it's approximately 64, 65, let's call it. And that's it. When I run the water, it should run now. All right, that's it. Uh, let's see, auto start. Status is good. Oh, PSI preset. You can just easily just do that, set for 65, okay? That's it. You can just push that button, okay? And auto, that's it. And it's sleeping right now. So, I don't wanna break that. Anyway, see that? I should probably leave this off. Probably easier to leave it off. Whatever, I guess you can put it on and you pull it towards you. Still learning a lot about this thing. This big hunk of junk. Uh, yeah, there's no instructions that kind of tell you like how to how to do that part. You know, like like how this attaches. Here we go. Here we go. Just got to play around with it. All right. So now it's set at 65 psi instead of 60. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure this is all cleaned up. Make sure it's not leaking now.